All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at the Snowflake Summit, and it's day four. Super excited to be with Prashant from Infoceps. Prashant, welcome to the Ravid Show. Can you tell us more about what you do? Introduce yourself, and what project are you currently working on? Hi, Ravid. Nice to see you. Good to be here. Yes. Um, I work as a solutions advisor and architect, designing and building enterprise-grade data products uh, and platforms. Nice. Throughout my career, uh, I with global media and data firms. I've yep. played different roles, nice. uh, specializing in application development, uh, data architecture, nice. security compliance, and data interoperability. Nice. I am with Infoceps. We are a global data solutions firm. Yes. Enabling uh, improved business outcomes through the effective use of data and AI. Yes, that's awesome. And uh, I've met Shashank, uh, you know, at Infoceps office. Uh, last year maybe at the innovators uh, day and it was so good to be there like uh, all the innovations that infosep does is pretty amazing quickly also wanting to learn a little about interoperability and why is it important in today's landscape can you tell us more about it can you define that that's a very good question ravid uh, data interoperability yes the the term the data interoperability refers uh, as the ability for various organizations systems and departments right to seamlessly access analyze and use data in a secure fashion right this concept enables data to be shared across various like diverse platforms and technologies nice. without actually losing the meaning the accuracy in the context of the data uh, it is essential uh, in the data driven world that we live in uh, as it promotes more connected uh, collaborative effective and an agile data driven ecosystem right that enables organizations to fully leverage the potential of their data assets. Uh, the most important concept around interoperability as it is powered by data clean room frameworks, your data never moves anywhere. Exactly. So you, you actually get the full security and privacy in place when the data stays at rest and you can just collaborate with partners around the world. Okay, those are great insights. Since we are on this topic of interoperability, I'm kind of curious to know about uh, what is the role of AI in this space and how do you uh, drive business value out of it, Prashant? Ah, that's interesting. It's important to bring AI here because ev everything that we have been seeing in the last four days is effective use of an enterprise AI. Right. So in, in our experience, uh, we've personally seen AI uh, playing two different roles in two different areas. The first one is more inclined towards IT and engineering, where AI brings um, operational efficiencies right. by automating and you know optimizing your data engineering uh, processes. Exactly. So integration, transformation, cleaning, and governance processes. Right. The second part that we have seen AI adding value is more inclined towards the business, where uh, we see uh, a lot of AI-driven innovative in innovative insights nice. are coming out yeah. of this data. Yeah. So I can take an example of my current work. Uh, we've been working in this area of data clean rooms and inter interoperability with right. our customer. Right. Uh, where we see is uh, lately there is a lot of ad adoption and movement of AI and ML models in the clean room space. And it explores a lot of uh, hidden insights and innovative ideas that two parties data sets could carry. Exactly. And this is all done in the clean room framework. So uh, all privacy and compliance in place, it becomes essential for businesses to explore right. more meaningful insights out of your data nice. when you collaborate with other data sets in the world. So you mentioned about privacy and data. So I'm kind of curious to also uh, learn a little about the best practices you follow to maintain data governance and ensure compliance at the same time. When we talk about interoperability, basically one or more parties are trying to put some of their sensitive and most important data into this clean room space. So it is extremely important for you to follow certain guidelines and practices. So uh, what, what I love the most about the clean room framework in the industry is your data stays put. Your data is actually not moving anywhere. Right. So and we have seen in our experience that most organizations have a lot of security, governance and compliance processes already in place. Right. When they move into the clean room, you can reuse that. I'm working with one of our largest media clients. Nice. And uh, we've been in this space of clean rooms since the inception of this framework in the industry. Yeah. Like two or three years ago when it started, we started co-creating much of these concepts with larger vendors. So what, what we have learned in our experience in this journey is it is extremely important for organizations to have a data strategy around. Right. The other thing that uh, we felt uh, that added a lot of values in our journey was having a centralized place to put all of your security, encryption and masking policies in one place right. and actually have the ability to automate the governance and management of that 
on all data set that goes into the clean room. Okay, that those are fantastic insights. Thanks for sharing that. Last question for you is around uh since we are here at Snowflake Summit. Uh what do you feel about the summit? Any key takeaways? Anything that you would like to share? Yeah, uh this is this is my first uh Snowflake Summit. Wow. I I've been to conferences like this before. Yeah. yeah but I'm amazed to see the crowd and uh you know I love the energy yes. around the enterprise AI uh across everything that we have seen in here. Right. So it is great like most of these sessions I loved some of the hands-on labs and there were certain presentations by customers across the world. It was very insightful to see how people have started putting AI into production workloads. So they exactly. are actually making a uh, value impacting that is impacting their business through AI. The very first thing that I'm going to be walking away with uh, the uh, importance and uh, emphasis that they are putting on data and AI applications. Right. Uh and how easy it has become to actually build on such large platforms. Love it. Yeah. The other thing that was resonating in most sessions and conferences was uh the AI models, the Cortex AI, the Right. Snowflake Arctic model that they are using. I loved on that one and I'm going to be putting my hands on it. Too. I'm very excited to uh, try that out is they are training these models on small uh, language models. Exactly. Which is going to with the same or similar efficiencies and accuracies of large models but a huge reduction in cost. I love it. Yeah. The there are bunch of uh like cool announcements around that. I love the Polaris catalog. Yes. Uh, the universal search uh the horizon snowpark container services and Such many more announcements this week one right? one of the thing yeah. yeah one of the thing if you remember that we saw in one of the demo from amanda yesterday uh platform keynote i guess is they invited a random person from the audience exactly how can like do you believe so much in your product right yeah, seriously they just let somebody create a ai driven chatbot on right. the ecosystem within minutes minutes and that person didn't even know much about snowflake so it's game changer right and yeah. that's what uh, you know I and mean, obviously great announcements this week snowflake has you know obviously brought the community together but those are fantastic insights that you shared prashant yep. good so, key takeaway so definitely. thanks for sharing Love those it. but uh, it was such a pleasure hosting you on the ravit show thanks for taking the time out and uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what's next coming at infosets yep sure thank good to be here much. thank, thank you, you everyone